I think it's my um, it's my monitor that's letting off so much light. So let me see if I can figure that out. That's wrong. Oh, I don't know which button I need to do to dim my screen. I think it's this one, but do I hit the control button? Or do I hit the Windows button? Oh, maybe I think this might be it. Oh, I, I might lose you guys. I don't, I'm afraid of hitting the wrong thing. Okay, if I hit Windows and that. No, that's not what I want. Oh, okay, it's going down. I think I may have found it. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! I am sorry that, um, yeah, technical issues like always with me. And I'm sorry that I echo. I'm in the living room and we have high ceilings. And so it kind of has an echo. I really need to get myself like, um, oh, like a wireless microphone or something. Uh, I didn't want to go downstairs because look at, okay, hold on. Look at that. Even got the fireplace going for this. How cool is that? It's a cool evening here in northern New York. It is, of course, uh, officially fall, and our trees are actually just pack pe past peak season. But I went out to an, an indoor flea market today, and I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to bring everything downstairs to show you what I got. And hold on, let me get rid of this um, working hangout. Gosh, I'm like so not even with it tonight. Okay, here we go. I says we have two people in here. So hello, whoever you are. I'm sure most people will end up watching this on replay because I didn't even schedule it. I just was like, I'm gonna go live. But guess what I bought today? All right, are you ready for this? Uh, should I, sh maybe I'll wait. I'm gonna wait and do that one last. Okay, because it's like so, I'm just, I'm giddy like, like a child. It's really ridiculous. But all right, let me show you a picture I bought. And this is actually for myself. And again, I'm so sorry for the sound. Hopefully it's not that bad. If you're in the um, chat, if you could let me know if the sound is really that bad. Because if it is, then maybe um, I'll just wait till tomorrow to do this. But I want to show you. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it way up. But can you see? There's a guy right there in a canoe, and there's like ducks down here. It's really hard to see because of the glare, but it's a watercolor painting. And so here in my house, we have two um, guest bedrooms, and one of them is I call my land animals. And hi, Donna, and hi, Diane. Um, so it's my land animals, and we have like everything there is, hey, Junk Trader. It's all decorated with land animals. And then the other bedroom is my fish slash waterfowl because it's got geese in it. And then I saw this with the ducks, and I was like, this is perfect. But I do have like, um, I think I have a fishing pole with some like fake wooden fish hanging and an and a old uh, fishing basket and stuff. So our, our fish, fish basket, whatever. So I got this for $10. I don't even know if it's, I assume it's probably just a local artist. It looks like it might be Roy or Ray Maisel or something like that. I don't know. I'll probably try and look it up, but I, I'm guessing it's probably just somebody local who did it. So I got that for 10 bucks, that's for myself. Then, so these items I saw when I went thrifting, I have an hour video that I can't seem to get uploaded to YouTube. And I'm gonna go in this week and re-edit it and make it from one hour down to two half hour videos and, and try and upload those separately and see if maybe I can get those uploaded. I don't know what the problem is. Hi, Amy. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. But when I was editing, I was like, oh, I didn't see that. I wonder if that's worth anything. So this morning I sat there, um, you, not YouTubing, searching on eBay to see if things were worth something. And then I ran back to go grab them. So I got, so I picked up this silver rhinoceros. 
And so I saw him going on eBay, but I don't have any of my eBay pages up to see how much he was worth. I think it was like, I don't know. I was, I'm thinking like 30 bucks. He's pretty big, as you can see. He's not just a little tiny thing, but it's all silver. You can see through it. Um, and he was, he actually ended up being, you see it on sale for $7.95. I don't see any markings on him, like a brand or anything. Um, I don't know. So the ones that I saw on eBay all have like a brand name on them. I don't know if he is that brand and just his stickers come off or what, but it's the only one that's on eBay is that specific brand. I mean, who else would make a silver rhino? But So I got him. He's actually kind of cool. So then I got, oh, Donna. I went back and looked at those, um, the thing. So I left this behind last time, this uh, what a pattern, sewing pattern. And I ended up grabbing it this time. And I also grabbed this one. This Christmas one. So neither of them really show that there was a lot of value in them. But for 50 cents, I wasn't going to just leave it. So I grabbed them. And then I got this. Winnie the Pooh. Look at him. He's got a costume on. He is so cute. He's got a costume and he's got his little, I don't know, trick or treat thing. Um, so I looked him up and there are some on and I think they were like 18 to 20 bucks and I paid three dollars and fifty cents so I thought these are so easy to just throw in a poly mailer and crunch them up throw them in a poly ma mailer and off he'll go so I got him he's really really cute I'll have to take his costume off just to make sure that Pooh himself is still in good condition because I didn't I didn't do that. All right, so that was that. And then I got, okay, so this one, anybody have a Worth Point subscription? Because I don't. And I looked up this one this morning. I couldn't find it anywhere except for Google. And they had two of them on Google. One went to Pinterest which brought you to an old eBay listing, which you can't see anymore. And then the other one went to worth point. So the eBay listing is over a year old because it's not in Terapeak. So we get Terapeak, which shows you a year sales. Uh, so I picked up this Tiki mug. It's really my first official Tiki mug that I've ever really purchased for reselling. And it's from the Fisherman's Wharf in Honolulu. They have other ones on uh, eBay, but not this specific one. But there is one on Terapeak. So this was $10, but this booth, everything in it was half off. So I did pay $5 for this. This is the thing on the bottom. There's not like anything else. Like it's all blank all the way around, except for that. So I'm thinking it's pretty rare because there's not any other ones for sale right now or recently sold on eBay. I don't even know how much to put that one for. I got to I got to check. Um, Amazon sell a tad higher than eBay. Yeah, I've never even checked Amazon for patterns. Yeah, I was going to send something to Jason, but I know he's going to say to me, where have you checked to see? And I'm going to be like, well, this is what I checked, but I don't have a worth point subscription. So, um, yeah, I'll probably send something to him. And then I picked up these Courier and Ives trivets. So I'm so excited. I'm back into doing eBay more than Amazon. And I just love going to thrift stores. So they are, um, I don't think they're new, but they are still in their trivet. But they're really cute, or not in their trivet, but in their box. See, it's like winter scenes. 
That's one of them. They each have their own winter scene on them. We'll have to pull them each out to make sure. Let me see what the other ones look like. Just to make sure they're not broken. I didn't pull them all out in the store. I mean, they were only a dollar. So there's some that sold. I think they were, and I'm guessing because I don't have it in front of me. Um, but if I remember right, they were again like 18 to 20. Two twenty-three dollars, something like that. And for a dollar, I said I'll I'll buy them and take a chance. I'll I'll go on the high price, uh, high side because you know we are hitting into the Christmas season. There's this one. Hey Amy, that looks like it's a maple sugar shack. For those of you who don't know, Amy sells maple syrup. Home in the wilderness. Now nah, I guess they're just home. It's just their home. It's not a maple sugar shack. But it looked like it was. Could be. I know in February, it's your home in the wilderness, right? February, March. The old homestead in winter. Oh, I didn't have a cupola or a cupola. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, see how this one has like some stuff on the back of it. So I'll have to see if I can clean that up. It almost looks like it's glue that's on the back. But I don't know, they're, they look like they're in pretty good conditions. Like the front of them that people would see are in really good condition, and it is in a box. And again, I paid $1. I think this was a new booth because they didn't have hardly anything in their uh, booth for sale. Hey, Jennifer. So I had so much fun going through that today. Plus, they were playing really good music. Doesn't it make a big difference when you have really good music playing? when you're shopping what I mean I was singing along and when you have the mask on you can sing and they can be other people around and they don't even really know it's you because they can't see your mouth moving um it probably had thing to hang them yeah probably I did notice a lot of them have like um like a like a shoot what's that called like a cat not cast iron like a raw iron or whatever maybe it is cast iron they almost have like a frame to hang them in but this one didn't have it uh, so then I picked up these for myself. As you can see, I have a, you know, a deer theme in, in this room. But they had these, um, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a, well, the stupid glare. Well, they're deer. Actually, I'm not going to open them because I think I'm going to keep them. Although, I'm not going to open them because if they're really worth something, I'm going to sell them. Following an online auction right now. Oh, hey, bluegrass. Who's having an auction right now? Eight o'clock is um, um, Steve. Gosh, what the heck's his channel name? I just got to, I didn't have a blank on his channel name. I'm going to find it though because he's got a really good auction at eight o'clock on Mondays. Um, oh my gosh. I can't believe I can't think of his name. Well, so these are deer. So this is a buck and Alcorn. That's it. Steve Alcorn. And, um, this is a buck, and then this is the doe, and then down here there is a baby. You can't, you can't see. There's a reflection, but it's a, it's a three pack, and it's that um, I don't even like that fuzzy stuff. Steve Alcorn, yeah. Um, what's that fuzzy? It's that fuzzy stuff. Is what's on this? You know, plastic with that fuzzy. I don't know, but I paid four dollars for it, and. Um, yeah, I think I might keep it and, I don't know, come up with something to do with it here in this room. Uh, we got a new TV, and when we put the TV in, we put it on the current TV wall holder, and it made the TV so low that I can't decorate my banister as much as, not banister, whatever you call those. I don't know. I can't even think of anything today. So... After I went to the thrift store, I decided to go to the casino. And I walked out with $900. I won $900 today. Mantle, that's what it is, Amy. It's, it's a mantle. <laughs> yes. So I'm just so excited from the things I found today, my $900. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. All right, so... What do we got next? What do I have next? I was going to do this in the um, parking lot of the store. And 
there was just so many people out today that I couldn't find a good spot. So, all right, this is really, really weird. So I'm not sure. I think it may have been made for somebody personally. I don't know. So this is a handmade, from what I can tell, although it does have a signature on the bottom, which I'm going to look up and see. I mean, I'm just assuming. I can't. I can't really get it so it's clear, but I'm I'm hoping that I can uh, maybe find who this is, but I'm guessing I won't be able to. All right, so it has this weird, like a stamp they put on the front, and I'll tell you. So it says Ann, A N N, and Armistead, and then it has a fifty-five. I don't know if that's a name and maybe it was somebody's 55th wedding anniversary and somebody made this for them. And then on the back, there are these like praying hands. Isn't that weird? I have no idea what it is, but I was just like, it's really, really different. It was $3 and it's just a homemade vase. I, I couldn't pass it up. I love homemade or like artisan pottery and stuff like that, not from like a big company. So I grabbed that. They also had some coffee mugs that I think might be um, good. <laughs> My husband's in, good you turned around. Yeah, so there was so much light. We have uh, in front of me is the, is the couch in the wall and there's like these lights are really, really bright. And I couldn't, even when I dim them all the way down, it was too much behind me. So yeah, I turned around, but I did have, Tony, I did have to turn off those lights because that was too much. All right, then, oh, I bought my husband. Since you're watching, Tony, I bought you this today. They had this there. I bought him a t-shirt. So tomorrow is 1013 and it is a, um, 10, a 1013, like, you know, when you say 104 Big Buddy on your walkie talkie or CB radio or whatever. So 1013 means officer down. Uh, so tomorrow is 1013. And so we celebrate and thank our law enforcement for what they do. So we have this and we will be flying a flag like this on the back of our Jeep for tomorrow for 1013 day. So make sure you thank any law officers that you know to let them know that you appreciate them. Okay, so then I got, these are for my mom. If you love buttons, they had bags of buttons for $1.99. And I picked up two bags for my mother, a buck 99 each. Well, the lady was telling me that they had jars of buttons for $10, but I didn't see them because the only ones I saw were 26 bucks. So maybe they had already sold. All right, so I got two things left. Oh, I know what these are. They're, they go together, let's see, because they're breakable. All right, so this goes with my theme of local pottery and I love that shirt I, it'll be good for him I don't wear t-shirts that often probably should have picked up one myself though oh I just realized that these were $2.95 a piece I thought there was $2.95 a set sugar although I still probably would have paid it anyhow so they are bowls one is bigger than the other but I think that they will be great. So they're like homemade pottery again. Uh, I don't think you can probably see because of the, but there's like a signature. There you go. I can see that a little bit. There's a signature on the bottom. Same with this one. Really good. Like whoever made them knows what they're doing. It's good craftsmanship. Uh, I just, I love it. I love this type of thing. So I'll probably keep these. They are glazed on the inside. So, you, you know, I'm assuming they're probably food safe. Um, perfect for putting like dip in during the holidays. We always have, you know, chips and dip or veggies and dips and stuff. So I'll probably use it for that and keep these for myself. They were $2.95 a piece. Only because I'm sure they're not from like some big name pottery, potterist or whatever, you know what they're called. 
Um, so I got that. And all right, I only have one thing left. But this is a big thing. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know what it is and it's really goofy. And then I'm going to tell you what the lady said because the lady who was probably in her 40s, late 40s, she should have known who this was. But hold on, I gotta I gotta fix it up a little bit because it moved. <laughs> All right. So who can tell me what this is? Ready? Anybody know what this is? I know there's a delay, so I'm going to wait until I see somebody say. All right, so he's got all the way down. He's got shoes on. He's fully clothed. Nice overalls. But he's got, there you go, pity the fool, pity the fool who don't know who I am with my gold chains, my gold earrings with feathers. <laughs> it is Mr. T. You guys are correct. Isn't it great? Oh, my gosh. My mother says, and maybe it was even my sister earlier, she's like, who would, pretty much like who would want a Mr. T doll? And I thought, you know, in today's day and age, a lot of parents put on old um, DVDs for their kids to watch, things that they watched growing up so they can kind of watch it too. And can you imagine the kids that are sitting there watching these DVDs of the A-Team? And I can just see, especially, you know, um, back in, especially in the 80s, there were not a lot of black characters on TV that played a, a positive role model. and. Um, and so I can just see some kid being like, oh, just in love with Mr. T and infatuated with him. And like, what a great gift for that child to have this Mr. T doll that he can grab by the arm and bring with him. So he is handmade. I mean, look at, he's got like a gold, hold on. I always go backwards with the thing, but he's got like a gold ring and he's got gold bracelets. I don't know. He's just like so cool. So the lady says to me when I was buying him, she's like, oh, do these come with it? And I'm like, yes, it's Mr. T. Of course it comes with it. That's his whole thing is about his gold chains and stuff, lady. I don't know. She thought I took it from the jewelry section. Uh, and none of it is good jewelry. I mean, it doesn't look like it's anything nice. Somebody just threw whatever they had on for crappy jewelry and put it on them. But yeah, the Jeffersons, they were, they, um, they were positive role models too. That was a funny show. I like that show. But yeah, so this Mr. T doll, like I am like in love with him so much. He's so cool. You're really cool, Mr. T. You're made out of like, um, you know, when they used to make those dolls out of nylons, that's kind of what he looks like, but it's a really thick nylon. It's probably more of like a tight, like maybe a pair of brown tights or something. But yeah, so there you go. That's what I got. That's all I got on my thrift haul today. I just wanted to jump on. For those who, who came in late, you can uh, watch the replay and, and see what else I bought. Um, but I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know what I got. And I'm just excited to start listing and doing eBay again and going out thrifting. And I just had such a great time. Of course, winning 900 at the casino was definitely great also. I love that. Yeah, Cabbage Patch looking kind of. Um, I noticed that a lot of the ones who are selling them, which by the way, I paid $12 for him. And there are some selling for like 50 bucks. So I'm going to go high with it and hang hang in there. Um, some a little lower, but why sell it for $10 when you can sell it for $50, right? Because people are getting it for $50. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and list him high and, and hold out. And I got the room, so I don't mind some long tail stuff. And he might be long tail waiting for the right person to come along. I was hoping to find like 
a DVD series or something of um, the A team that I could put with them, but I didn't see that anywhere today. All right, well, thanks so much for stopping in. I'm going to let you go so I can get this all cleaned up so I can jump on. And I haven't even had supper yet, so I'm going to eat supper. And then I'm going to jump on Steve Alcorn's channel and watch him in his auction because he usually has some pretty cool things that you can find him and his, I don't know if they're his brothers or who. There's two gentlemen that sell with him. I think one of them's his brother, but they might both be his brother. I don't know. I know one of them used to be Amish and is no longer Amish. So that's kind of cool. Um, so thanks a lot for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I'm hoping to go live again later this week or in or putting out some videos. Um, so we'll see. All right, talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.